I'll just add a quick script. Script file. And by the way, uh, the script that you need to add oops, should also be here if, if, in case you want to deploy something. See, see over here, post deployment and pre-deployment? If you need something to run before you deploy, you actually deploy uh, your work, then this is where you should run. Anyway, this is the script file, so I'll simply say something like, ah, first of all, let me connect to the database. I, I need to test the store procedure that I just created. So I'll connect to the database. And right now you can see that I'm connected. Okay? So I'll say, okay, move to Uh, what was the name of the database? DAC demo, right? For some reason, it's is it connected? Yeah. Nope. Still not running. Let me close the script file. Open another one. Again, oops, I moved a lot of stuff. Connect again. Yep, yep, I moved the objects by mistake, I think. Here. Anyway, I don't think this will run right now, DAC demo. What was the name of the sub procedure? Get all employees. Now, what I'm trying to do here is this. Who here knows about uh, actual execution plans? You should run, you know, the plan that is running on SQL Server. You can have this in here. And I will also add the uh, statistics that should run. I can run the query from here. And see over here, it's not even connecting to the database. There is a problem here in my day. Hmm? I think it's because the project was damaged. So what I'll do quickly. Okay, I'll, I think I'll need to create a new project. How much time do I have? Ten minutes. Anyway, I think I, it's damaged, so I'll quickly, very quickly, do this again. And the data tier. Let me just extract the latest one to get the same changes that I just did. And again, going to put this in the desktop. Let's call it two. Next. Anyway, once this is done, I'll import this again in this new project from this file, desktop, and demo2. OK, so this right now is running. I'll try my example again. I'll add a script file show you all. Let's connect to the database. This time it should connect. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I was trying to do. Uh, you can see this is online in TeleSense. Okay, so it, it gets everything from the real database. Anyway, I'm just trying to execute the store procedure um, that I just created. And as I told you, I can just simply add the execution plan, the statistics plan, and try to run this 
script. Now, of course, it will not return anything since I am not using any parameter. I didn't send any value. But for any, anybody who, who have seen this before in SQL Server, this is huge. In my opinion, this is really huge. You can actually work without ever opening SSMS for SQL Server. Just do everything from here. Not only that, there's a feature here in which I don't think you will get even in, in SSMS the, the current way you're running. I can actually put a breakpoint and run this from within my project. Now, I'm going to ignore some errors that will appear here. I can fix them later. Oops, no. I should have said yes. Yes. Uh, oops, again. This is a different. This is not my machine, it's Halaby's machine. <laughs> this is the AT. The what? This is a DAT project. Uh, this is a DAC yeah. A, a DAC project. Usually people call it DAC. Okay, so I just need to run this as an admin in order to, you know, debug SQL Server. In a database project, can we add also a breakpoint? Yes, yes, for breakpoints right now, yes, these features are available. So right now what is happening is, you know, I'm not, I'm not really, I, I wasn't interested at first when I saw this. I said, so what? I mean, what, you can just move step by step, jump into a store procedure, okay. A, a nice feature. But the nice thing, the really nice thing I think about this is you can actually, you know, get all the features of debugging for Visual Studio, uh, you know, for SQL Server. So I can get the value of the parameter, get the values of whatever I'm running within the script. And this is a really cool feature, I think, uh, you know, in Visual Studio. By the, yeah. Yes, you can run within store procedures. Now, uh, I forgot also to show you some stuff. Uh, for now, let's just stop this. Uh, there's an, also a very nice feature. Uh, you, you can see it here from data. There's something called static co code uh, uh, analysis. Now, what this, what this does, actually, it gives you some libraries in which you know the best practices for SQL Server. Can, uh, can anybody tell me what's the problem with the script I've written so far? There is a problem with best practices for SQL Server. The problem is here. Let me run this again now and tell it, please analyze my, you know, do code analysis or, for my uh, code. Now, since I'm not displaying the errors page, the errors uh, list page, this will not show. Yes, it's telling me, yes, you have a problem. Double click. The problem it's telling me is that you are using select aspect. This is not a good practice for SQL Server. Because, you know, you know why? Because eventually you will change the structure of the table and this store procedure will never know. You, you know, probably you're handling it in a specific way for this select. So this is not a good practice. Another really nice thing is when I hover over it, do you see what, what it's telling me? Put these columns name. It knows what I should actually put in here. So I can say employee ID instead and employee name. OK, uh, I can do this again for the same other. You know, it's also telling me this for the view. Just modify it. And therefore, what I'm, what I'm trying to do here, or, or tell you, it, it detects stuff. For example, using the at at identity. Do you ever use this? Yes. To get the ID of the last record you inserted. Yes. At at identity. Yes. Do you know that this is bad practice? Probably not. <laughs> Scoop identity is the good replacement. If you actually written here, add, add identity, by I've written it, it will detect and tell me, please use scope identity instead, which is a better thing to do. Um, well, this is quickly for this part. Just, I think I have about four minutes, so let me show you a, more, a couple of more things. Uh, one nice thing, you can see the schema view over here. I can, add, I can go to schema and see the table. I can, uh, let's imagine I'm trying to change the name of the table. Do you know what this will mean? I need to go through all the scripts in all of my projects and change the name, right? Employees. I can use refactoring. I can just simply refactor this and just say, please, you know, rename this object employees to employees whatever, 333. And once this is done, 
you know, to tell me, okay, these are the objects that I'm actually go 